Good evening or good afternoon when this video reaches you from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well, sending loads of love as usual. Now the video I've come up with tonight or this evening uh, is a bit of a funny one. You could take it as you might even be crying with laughter after you hear it. Over the years, it's fair to say, uh, from a Cockney point of view, we've got a name for them. Or we say Jack and Daniels. Jack and Daniels means Fanniers. If you're not familiar with the term Fanniers, it means telling Jack and Norries or telling porky pies, which are lies. And over the years in prison, uh, it's fair to say there are a lot of men who say they know people who they were there at certain times uh, for whatever reasons, whether it's to have their name associated with a well-known gangster or they want to be part of or they don't think much of themselves. They feel that by being named or associated with those people, they had some kind of bit more weight onto their uh, warped opinion of themselves of being a proper gangster. I don't know, right? I've got I've told my fair share of families, but nothing like this, honestly. Um, anyway, uh, during this time, we was in Long Larton. It was the millennium. And I was there at the same time as GN, no, was GN there? Yeah, GM was there. And Roger was there as well. Roger V, right? Now, Roger V was on my wing. And for a while, he'd been expecting his co-defendant, who is Dave Smith. Now, every day, weekdays, you early, early morning, an officer, if you put in an application to see a doctor, uh, there's specific times when you can all go from other wings, right? Now, what would happen is if you if you if you put in an application to see a doctor, you stay off work and you wait till eight o'clock in the morning, eight thirty. Your door gets unlocked, uh, and it, they, there's a group of you from each wing, uh, where one officer or one on each wing brings a group of inmates to the doctor's surgery where there is a waiting room, right? So. We're all getting ready to go to the doctors. So we're, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. I can't remember if S is about six foot five from South London, built like a tank, uh, well known everywhere as well. Uh, I can't remember if he was on my wing or he was on the wing opposite, but I know one thing. I don't think he was on the same wing as me and Roger. Now, walking down, right, walking down to the surgery on the corridor, Another wing is coming at the same time. Now, they've got an officer with them. And through the, um, the observant eye, I spot Dave Smith. Straight away, boom, Dave. Boom, ain't seen him for a little while. Big hug and a kiss of some kind. Uh, long time not seeing. When you ain't seen someone, you know that, you know, you've been longing to see a lot to catch up on. A lot of things need to be said. Uh, and aired out and straight away I was thinking well Roger's going to be over the moon that you're here because you've got things to sort out there as well so we're hugging and we're walking uh, I'm walking now with three different groups from three different wings to the same surgery and same waiting room uh, there's a person who's walking with somebody else from South London who's walking nearby now he seems to be e eavesdropping into me and Dave's conversation so I'm talking about Roger and straight away he butts in and he says, who are you talking about? Roger Vinton. And I said, yeah, 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 yeah. We're talking about Roger Vinton. And straight away, S from South London. I know Roger. Yeah, yeah. He's my, he's my proper pal, mate. Yeah. What, 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 what is it? No, nothing, nothing. No, no, some, 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 somebody just wants to see him. Uh, and he's dying to see him if you get what I mean. Uh, blah, 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 blah. He goes, oh, oh, good, because Roger's my pal, uh, giving it all that one, right? So I know that Roger talks to him, but I wouldn't say they were best pals. We got down to the healthcare. We're all sitting in the waiting room. Me and Dave started the whispering tactic where we don't want too many people to hear what we're saying because some stuff that's being said has to be said quietly. So during that whispering that was going on, all of a sudden, S from South London, remember he's about six foot five, he doesn't really need uh, to be making, he doesn't need to make a lot of friends if you get what I mean, he doesn't need uh, strike me as somebody that needs protection or needs to be making friends. Uh, we, we got a name for people 
uh, that want to be associated with people that they don't know, who have got big names in the gangster world, if you get what I mean. We call them name droppers or we call them name calling or there's other names as well. Uh, for some reason, they feel the need to have their name mentioned with these men or women, if you like, so that they can be recognised as someone that knows people, more serious people than what certain other people uh, might not n might not know. So they might be like at the top of the tree of the game uh, in the criminal uh, lifestyle and they just want to be associated to them, basically. So we end up down in a waiting room, I'm whispering, S joins in and he starts talking to Dave and he starts saying, yeah, um, uh, my mate Roger, he's over there with me. Uh, is there any messages you want me to pass on to him kind of thing? Uh, Dave's going, no, nah, no, nah, Yam, Yammy, I'll leave that to Yammy. Yammy's going to let him know that uh, I need to see him at church or whatever. Uh, and I've got something for him as well. And S has turned around and said to Dave, oh, oh, don't worry, I've got all that kind of stuff. If you need anything, just give me a shout. What wing you want? I'm on the top wings, Dave says. Perry red, Perry blue kind of thing. All right, sweet. Uh, so we carry on talking and I'm saying he's going to be over the moon to see you, Dave. He's been waiting years to see you. You, got, you, need, you need some time to talk about a lot of stuff. S turns around and says to him, oh yeah, I knew Roger, just out of the blue, uh, without any invitation or anything, just volunteers that, yeah, um, Roger's got a code E called Dave Smith, right? S has volunteered that, yes, uh, me and Dave Smith were like that outside. I've known him a long time uh, since I was young. Uh, it's even worse than that. That case that they're doing the 30 or 40 years for uh, with an AK-47, apparently, allegedly, uh, were meant to have got convicted of it. Dave and Roger, who say otherwise, really. Uh, he's saying, yeah, I, S is saying, I was the one that uh, uh, supplied the gun to that crime that night when it was thing, just out of the blue, we're just saying that, saying things like that. And I've done business with Dave, I've been on holiday with him, I've done business with him with drugs, all that kind of stuff he's saying, right? So I'm going, yeah, well, sorry about the slurping. Again, I've got to do it, I'm afraid. So, in my mind, something starts twigging. I'm thinking to myself, what is he, is there something not quite right here or am I missing something? Uh, all of a sudden it twigged in my head anyway. So Dave's gone, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll tell Rog when you see him, Yam, uh, to meet me at the church this week. And Esther just joined in again and said, yeah, Dave, uh, can you tell um, Dave Smith? I know him, I, I know Dave Smith as well. Uh, um, he, he, but I'll just explain to you about the gun and all that kind of stuff. Uh, tell him that I'll meet him down at church and I've got things for him as well and I'll get them sent down to him, right? So Dave's going to him, all right, mate, nice one. That's very nice of you. blah uh, blah 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 right? So it, more things have started to twig in my head now because now I'm starting to think um, something's definitely not right. So we carried on talking, whispering, our names have been called. We've gone into health, into see the doctor. It's time to go back, time to go back now. So we're walking back. And I'm dying to get outside to ask Dave something. So uh, we're walking back, uh, but you know you've got to go with other staff because you're on different wings. Uh, I'm giving him last minute details about Rog, seeing him this week. And S is saying to him, nice meeting you mate, sweet. Uh, be nice to see you again. And uh, I know Dave Smith's just turned up on the induction wing up there on Perry Red, Perry Blue, where you are, Dave. Uh, so can you let him know that I'll be down at church with Roger this week and if he needs anything, just give me a little give me a little message and I'll bring some stuff down for him. They went, yeah, sweet, 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 sweet. Now, when S is out of um, his reach, I turned around to Dave and I said, uh, do you know him? Dave said, nah, I've never set eyes on him before in my life. I said, yeah, but Dave, uh, He's speaking to you like he doesn't know that you're Dave Smith. He said, I know Yam. I said, so why are you letting him, why are you letting him continue uh, with carry on, giving him messages 
for Dave Smith, who he's had a relationship outside where guns are involved, where drugs are involved, where holidays are involved, and Roger's involved, all that kind of thing. He goes, because I was thinking he might be, he's going to let me know uh, some information or he might let something slip that might be valuable to me. I said, Dave, it went on for a bit long. So I said, what are you going to do in the end when he finds out that that person's you? He said, when he, if he ever says to me, oh, you're Dave Smith. Oh, you've changed a lot in the amount of years since I, I said, what are you going to say? Dave said, I'm going to say that you never asked me. I thought, brilliant one. But these are the kind of fanny's lies that can get told in prison. And I mean, think of that one, how you're going to feel telling such a blatant bunch of lies and then it's being found out afterwards that you don't even know that the geezer you're, you're talking about with the guns and everything is actually the geezer that's sitting with you in healthcare, Dave Smith, and he didn't twig. Uh, I weren't there when the next meeting took place, but I know one thing, uh, he had egg on his face and I don't know how he took it, but I never ever listened to a word he ever ever said again. I might be up in a little while, uh, but many times along the years, if you're ever expecting to go there, but I know there's many of you watching that have met many men like this, who name drop, name call, who just want to be part of, but they're living in dreamland.